The combination valve is an essential part of the secondary air system for the Audi A4 1.8T. I believe it is used from 2001 through 2006. It is located on the rear right of the engine. Rear right, it is a normally closed valve and it has three connections. It has a connection to the exhaust system, which is normally closed. It has this large connection and it has this small connection. This large hose comes from the air pump. The air pump is located under the vehicle, passenger side, close to the bumper. This other hose is a vacuum hose and it comes from the secondary air injection solenoid valve, which is under the intake manifold and is computer controlled. So how does it work? During a cold start, the ECM is gonna activate the air pump and air makes its way through this large hose. At the same time, that computer turns on the air injection solenoid valve and a vacuum is pulled. So this vacuum is gonna open up that normally closed valve and air can make its way to the exhaust system. Testing the combination valve. First test is to make sure the combination valve is normally closed. Under the vehicle, you will remove a cover. The air pump is located under the vehicle, passenger side, close to the bumper. It has two hoses, one on the top that comes from the intake, and this one on the bottom that goes to the combination valve. To disconnect it, you're gonna pinch at 12 o'clock and six o'clock. You're gonna pinch in with both hands, to test the combination valve, you need to blow air into this hose to make sure air can get by. I've created this tool. It's a 15, 30 seconds piece of hose. The part number on that is Armor Mark 50291. It's connected to a half inch outer diameter clear hose and it fits in there perfectly. It's an interference fit. And from there on, I can just blow into it. And now we have a perfect tool for this diagnosis. And there it is right there. So right now I can't blow into it. So far, so good. For the second part of the test, you connect the vacuum pump to the small nipple of the combination valve. Create a vacuum between 10 and 15 inches of mercury. Here we're at what, 15? Now, the combination valve should be open and you should be able to blow air through that valve. Ooh, yep. Now we're gonna shut off the vacuum. We're at zero. And the valve is blocked off. This combination valve is working correctly. Now, when connecting the vacuum pump to the actual combination valve, you might encounter a few issues. The first one is the limited space. Simply remove this oil separator to access the combination valve. It gives you more space. Second issue is these clamps. The OEM uses these Oetiker style, ear style clamps. And to remove them, you're gonna have to cut them. So that might be a second issue. If you need help, with removing an Oetiker style clamp, check out this video by the Oetiker Group. And that's it for this video. Have a good day.